What's up guys? Welcome to another video. In today's video, we'll be talking about something that's pretty controversial. We're going to get a little, you know, we're going to be little troublemakers today. From the title of this video, you guys can already tell we're going to be talking about vegan beauty or the vegan beauty trend that's been pretty popular in a lot of beauty products. It's pretty common for brands to claim we're vegan, we're cruelty free. We're going to be talking about what that really means in today's video. Before we start, if you are new here, welcome. I'm April. I'm a cosmetic and skincare chemist. I talk about all things skincare, beauty, back end and front end of skincare production. So if you're interested in that, hit the like button, subscribe down below, join the family because we're here a lot and we talk a lot about skincare. All right, so jump into this video. So I'm gonna preface this video by saying that I am not vegan. I have my personal reasons why I am not vegan, but ultimately I do believe that um, everyone needs uh, some form of animal meats. This is my personal opinion. You know, I know there's a huge uh, subset of people that are vegan, so I don't wanna upset anyone, but my personal views on veganism is that it's just not for me. I prefer to eat animal products. It just works better for me. I feel more energetic that way. I have been vegan for maybe like three months before for religious reasons. And within that three months, I just didn't feel myself. So I don't think it's something that just works for me at all. Okay, so now that that's out of the way, now we're gonna talk about the term vegan veganism in skincare products. Honestly, I feel like it's been a very, it's been a vicious cycle of just claims on claims not just veganism there's other claims that have just been coming out of the woodworks and honestly i just feel like it's a way for brands to try to differentiate themselves and sell their products it's all marketing so there's two major ingredients that usually you would see people want to have a lot of conversation about those two products are lanoline and beeswax now lanoline is gotten from uh sheep so if you think about your hair and how you have sebum produce oil in your hair naturally so sheeps produce this oil on their skin fluffy skin and the way this lanolin is gotten is by washing the sheep's skin so the sheeps really aren't harmed at all so i don't understand why people would consider lanolin to be a horrible ingredient because really the sheep isn't getting harmed in the process so number two, like I mentioned, is beeswax. This one I can understand because beeswax is gotten from the honeycomb, which is pretty much where the bees live. And I can understand why vegans or vegetarians would have a problem with this one because you're pretty much taking the home of the animal. That I can understand. Another ingredient is carmine, which is found in lipsticks, is gotten from the shells of beetles. But that's obviously not as common as beeswax and lanolin. Other than these two major ingredients, there's really no other ingredients that is cruel to the animals so really 90% of brands are vegan now the big brands really didn't start putting vegan on their products until they saw the small brands putting it on their products and the small brands were clearly doing well and selling their products so obviously the big brands are going to want to jump on the bandwagon and uh, be part of the party so yeah this whole vegan thing is kind of getting out of hand and you guys need to be really smart about your beauty and be more informed. I really wanted you guys to be more informed about these things because vegan doesn't make any brand any more ethical or moral than a brand that doesn't put vegan or cruelty free on their products. It's just all marketing terms and it's just, it just needs to stop, okay? <laughs> it just needs to stop and we're, we need to get rid of that. Like I said, there's only two things that are truly, if you want to call it, non-vegan products. Those are the two ingredients that are that come to mind. Um, but yeah, I wanted to make a really quick video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, follow me on social media. I'm all at April Bassi on all channels. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.